Okay, it's part two. Made it all shortly as soon as this uh, second batch of plastic starts to kind of uh, firm up a bit. I like to use uh, pretty warm water when I mix up the plaster about uh, 100 degrees or so. And it, uh, it's actually 100 degrees is usually about the right temperature for uh, for plaster to get the most plaster into the water and it also sets pretty quickly too. So uh, it's a little more pleasant to work with when it's somewhat warm <laughs> than it is if it's ice cold. Sorry about the background noise, that's my water heater, uh, it's a gas water heater and it's running right now because I just took out uh, three gallons of hot water and uh, so uh, <laughs> that's the story behind that. Now I could get fancy and build a wood form around this and, and uh, get the, just pour the plaster in. And I do that every now and then with certain pieces, but uh, a lot of things like this, it's just easier to do it, easier quicker to do it this way. And uh, there's no real reason that I have to uh, do it that way. It's just more, uh, more material and more time to uh, mess with. two bags of plaster left and I've got a order for a client that has to be made from this when this mold is done and I'm just going to have enough material to do that. <laughs> Amazingly enough so I've got to order some more. Uh, it's always an expense because it's got to be shipped down by truck from uh, Minnesota. Uh, that's about uh, a couple hundred bucks for the shipping. rubber portion of this uh, mold, the pink rubber is uh, from Smooth On and I really like this Rebound 25 product they have. Works extremely well and uh, it's by far the best rubber I've ever used. And I've used quite a few different uh, mold rubbers over the years and it's really the best. I'm having to replace a bunch of molds that I made years ago that were made from quantum silicone and uh, that quantum silicone was just the worst stuff I ever used. It was just terrible. That's yeah, totally useless. <laughs> that was a big mistake buying that stuff. can't always predict how products are going to perform or last over the uh, long haul. But that stuff is deteriorating within like six months. So 
it was pretty bad. Could have used just a little bit more, but uh, I think it's just enough. to spend quite a bit of time carefully forming all nice straight edges on molds but you know in the end it really doesn't matter because uh, at least with the uh, previous mold materials I used to use uh, quantum silicone and all those uh, because uh, the molds never lasted very long anyway the rubber portion would deteriorate same thing with latex molds and then the uh, He'd wind up having to throw it away because the, uh, the rubber is no good. And so you put all that time and work into making an, a real nice, neat mother mold like this. And then uh, it's all basically for nothing. So uh, <laughs> I've gotten less uh, obsessive about doing that. So now we've got mold number 715. And we've got... Uh, 2014. Put the date on there so I know when I made it. And uh, now I'm going to let that sit for about a half hour. Come back and uh, take it apart. And then uh, that'll be part number three for the video. And we'll see how that goes when I come back.